Hello everyone, Pineapple on PC here with the second World's Paint tutorial. I know it's been such a long wait for the second one, but um, in this episode we are going to cover custom trees and objects. So, we got this, this is the custom object layer. If we do this, here it says what add one or more objects. What I basically have is I have my downloads. I've moved it from my download since I've <laughs> recently cleared my entire computer. So I got it on documents and then I got world painted tree repos and then all these maps. I got some tree stumps, I got another custom tree repository, blah blah blah. I learned to breach here. I got a seaweed one, I got the monster fish, blah. I've got everything. And now you wonder where do you find those? So basically go, I have Safari because I have Mac, so I basically go to planetminecraft.com. This is where you can find many tree repositories, of course you can create your own. Um, I might just show it in another video if this one gets liked enough and if people suggest it. So you actually search uh, Minecraft tree repository, or anything really. And then you see the custom tree, the fancy tree repository from Lantabricia. And you got Kino Fox's um, tree repository. Right, and you got all these tree repositories. All of them. And you have like videos, another tree repository, model repository. You get all these trees and everything. So I'd really suggest taking it from Planet Minecraft. You could of course find it somewhere else, but you would download them, you would get into the downloads folder and then you just select it, like I have in my documents, or penetry repos, choose, <laughs> oh yeah. Well, so now um, I'm going to choose, let's see what I'm going to choose. Uh, I think I'm going to go from, you no, know, not the Conquit one, I think I'm going to go with this one. No, very specific with those. Let, let's see. Let's see if I get some oak ones as well. I Me mean, here, you see what the tree actually looks like. S S S swamp 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 swamp. Rocks, pine trees. And I don't even know what the N is really. And if you hear a very annoying background noise, that's just the plumbers working right now to record during that, which is quite annoying. Dead, 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 dead. Well, let's basically choose some birch, maybe. I just never, I can never decide. Just, But always try and make sure you get the BO2 format that is automatically set, like, coordinates, otherwise you're going to get flying trees, which is pretty annoying. So, I think it was seven. Yeah. Seven are some oak trees, so we select them. And we basically just call them like forest. And the color, well, we just do it nice and green. So, first, you know, we're gonna do something that you've probably like learned already from me, which is basically making terrain. Don't say Friday because it's not Friday, it's, it's Wednesday. So just making random mountains and random hills. This is really gonna just take hours for me since I'm always the perfect I like a perfectionist when I'm doing this. Like if you're doing a very small map, you must make this. Mountains just going out from the side. If you don't do that, you're doing something wrong. And again, annoying background noise starting. You can obviously hear it. And right now, I'm just making some random terrain, random mountains, maybe like a river running through. Which basically becomes extremely big. You know, like this. This is a pretty nice one. You got like 49. Too, high, but too low. So this is quite a good. Well, 
again my perfectionist thing says I need to add in some materials so we'll go for what we had last we're going to do the conquest pack always one and then this one will make five and then that will be six na, 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 na. and then about 45 degrees which is like not much now you go to this forest layer you can do this below and I mostly do it below 25 degrees and the intensity is how thick your forest is going to be and also I, I would recommend doing it at or above 63 so it's not able to get into the water or the actual beach so like one is very very sparse we like a savanna I am able to show you this of course because like this you've got forest you got forest everywhere really which isn't really good I think forests everywhere. Like maybe do it like this, and also try making sure you get this brush because it has a nice gradient. So right now I'm gonna export this one. You're able to see what it would look like. So that just takes a couple of seconds. So I'm gonna pause the recording right here, and we'll be back in a couple of seconds. So we're back. This is what one percent intensity looks like. As I said, Savannah. -y not really alive, really dead, all that kind of stuff. So this is something that you wouldn't want for an actual forest. We're going to keep this one right here. Down there. And we're going back to World Painter. So we're just going to... Nope, nope. And then, you know, you can try anything really. You can try 100% here. I would strongly disadvise it because it would really lack the shit out of your computer when you're actually in the world. But it creates a really, really dense forest, which is sometimes pretty nice. Like for if you're trying to have like a real jungle or trying to have like a very nice elven forest, I wouldn't advise this doing this with big trees because it will literally crash your computer. So this is what would look like. This is already one this is one percent and then right here we got ninety three to one hundred percent and again exporting it and you know like just with last time we'll be right back since exporting always takes a couple of seconds. So we've spawned at the same point and like right now this is what the forest looks like if we are going to navigate. I've of course deleted some parts of it, but this is uh, what it would look like. It looks pretty awesome actually. Like this, you get the sparse part and then you get the giant for forests really. Um, it's not that giant here and as you see my computer is getting quite laggy. Uh, not when it's not when I'm in the air. Oh wow, I didn't even open my inventory here. But as you can see there are a lot of trees this is where it's gonna get heavy because really as you see it's getting huge lag spikes you cannot go in there possibly without having a good PC like as you see it's completely filled up with trees and leaves they just lag you so all the shadows that it creates oh yeah <laughs> my computer really can't hold it um, so again like the absolute zero but the absolute 100 isn't great as well so the best thing to do is actually keeping it if you want a very if you want a really light forest you do 8 constantly constantly 8 if you want a really lush, if you want just a nice little lush forest, 29. If you want a very grown forest, 43 to 50, but never go above the 50. I never went above the 50 because that just crashes your entire computer. So what I mostly do is I do 29. You see? And then make certain areas where there are forests and certain areas where they're not forest. So that is what that would look like, and again, exporting it, 
and then again I will just say that. I'll be right back so again we spawn the same place and this is what a normal forest in this intensity would look like see it doesn't crash your computer and it's still like there's a normal amount of trees and that there's still a normal amount of grass you could of course have it a little more dense but this is <laughs> basically a nice little forest of course in a real big map you would have layers stacked all over each other so that's why you don't want extremely much um, intensity so we got that covered Ooh. and again you always want quitting my minecraft is really like nope so that is what that would be like and of course we can continue doing this by adding more objects more object layers of course having to wait a second since my minecraft is completely freaking crashed Ooh. <laughs> it reacts again so right now, instead of doing this, we go to World Banger Tree Repositories and we go to this one, the seaweed. And we just add in all the seaweed and then add in all the sea rocks. Go to seaweed one. And now below, and then below like 58, 57 mostly. And then again, you want it around. You don't want this on what percent? You don't want this on one hundred percent. You want this eight to twenty-two percent. So I want to do fifty. Boom! That that is basically it. And we can add rocks. Like we go to World well, Energy Repositories. We go to this one to the Rock Repository. We go to Bo Two. And then just some planes rocks. Boom. Now we do that above 62. Maybe above 61. Nah. No. And then below, say, 35 degrees. That's what I would have said. Um, and we do the intensity on 1%. And you can infinitely add some custom layers onto this. And we can even add some bushes. Go to tree repository. First, we're going to add these tree stump and sand driftwood. So you got the oaks, you got the birch, you got the small oaks, you got the small spruce. So you do the big, the big oaks, and then we do the small oaks. And just say stumps and then we give it a different color we give it um, you can see in the sign of the colors I've shown before but, you know, and again below 25 degrees at above 63 the density of 8% you hey, what's it what's a forest without tree stumps really and then we do the same only this time around we are doing the driftwood so the oaks and then driftwood which is going to a bluish tint so eventually you, can, you have like an entire rainbow but right now you just do at or below 61 and at or above 61. So have it on one level. No, we won't have an app above, so it'll just be like this everywhere. I hope it keeps floating. If it does not, I'm really, really pissed. <laughs> so then again, I think that is all the custom layers that we're going to need for now. We're doing a custom terrain, the entire bottom of the river with gravel and some cobblestone and maybe some little bits of sand just to add some more variation into it and then again at or below 61 so you can 
hear people in the background really ignore it. It's very annoying, I know, but just ignore it. So, just export again, and the save is with the other three times. I'll pause here, and we'll be back in a couple of seconds. So we're back, same spawn point, and as you see, I've added a lot more. Only I have not seen the seaweed anywhere yet. I think it kind of glitched out, just as the driftwood. But as you see, I see all these tree stumps everywhere, and these rocks everywhere. And that is how custom layers work. I know it's not like the best map ever that I've created right now. Not gonna put it up for download. You see quite a bit of rocks. Again, I would have put some air in between that as well. So I really, oh my god, Minecraft really. Uh, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video of me explaining what the custom object layers work like and what they actually do. And I will see you all in another video with maybe another tutorial, World Painter, maybe the big western train I've been promising for quite a while, trees, you, you name it in the comments and I'll take a look at it. So I'll see you all in another video.